Oftentimes, in the Hooniverse, we drive some cool, fast shit. Occasionally, though, it's nice to slow things down and drive some slow, powerful shit. That's what this is. This is a 2013 Jeep Wrangler. It's the four-door, but it's been done up, as you can tell right away, by a company called Rugged Ridge. The purpose of this Jeep is to show what's capable when you scroll through their parts catalog. This basically has all of it, and then some. And we're gonna try to kick his ass a little bit out here on the off-road portion of the Hooniverse Highway Hooning Grounds. So, you know we typically like our cars fast, but that's not always the case. Sometimes we just like them to take us to different places. Such is the case today. I'm on a nice road. There's some beautiful houses out here. Right in front of me though, that's dirt. And we're gonna go exploring a little bit because this is the Rugged Ridge Jeep Wrangler. It's better known as Kilroy. And it's pretty cool. It's a very military themed build. I just hope nobody thinks I'm voting for Donald Trump while I'm driving this thing. Um, I don't have any guns in here. I do have an ax on the back and the ax is pretty bitchin'. And the paint on the head of the ax matches the paint of this Jeep, which is not aftermarket. This paint is factory color. In 2013, I believe they offered this commando green paintwork. And it works for this build, obviously. Now, when you have a Jeep, as most Jeep owners already know, it's a Jeep thing, as most Jeep owners already know, it's fun to take them and get them dirty. A clean Jeep is not a happy Jeep. Jeeps like dirt, and that's what we're gonna try to do today, is get this thing covered in some dirt and some mud, and have some fun, and see what all these enhancements to the vehicle do. Now, I'm not gonna review this like I would normally review one of the cars we get, because most people already know how a Jeep drives. Uh, it's got a strong engine with some good torque to get you through some stuff. The gearbox is nice and friendly. Jeeps make great cars to teach someone how to drive stick on, actually, because the gearbox is so forgiving. Now, this Jeep has tons of suspension travel. It has massive 37-inch tires. It's got those green wheels out there. Uh, it's got some big disc brakes, which I love because, you know, when you get going in this stuff, you also want to stop. It's got some off-road lighting, which I just turned on. There's, there's nothing but fun to be had here. Now, one of the big parts of this Jeep is the top. This Jeep is wearing a soft top, and it has a exoskeleton type bar system on the outside. And normally, when you combine those two, you have to remove one to take the other off. Not the case here. You can do all sorts of different configurations with this top. I can slide it back into a sunroof mode. I can slide it back so it covers both of these seats. I can take it down into a bikini type configuration. I can take the whole top down without removing that exoskeleton. And that's pretty sweet, you know? Less work to go have fun. You can have fun even at slow speeds in this thing. Now, if you see a little jump, it's goose it every now and then, it's fun. Um, plus, Jeeps are generally rear-wheel drive until you put them in four-wheel drive. So you can do donuts and burnouts and all that dumb shit, too. It's gonna be hard to do on pavement because those are big-ass tires and Rugged Ridge hasn't really done anything to the engine of this Jeep. They've got the snorkel with the replaceable filter out there. Uh, they have swapped the gearing on this too. Uh, this has 513 gears, which this thing actually moves kind of nicely down the highway. Uh, obviously I had to drive on the highway to get to the off-road highway. Um, and I could cruise at 80 comfortably in this thing. And you know, Kaiju started roaming the earth. I could take a more direct route to escape. The cool thing about what Rugged Ridge is doing is that they're offering packages. They call them restyling packages. So the average person, not the hardcore Jeep person, the average Jeep buyer who wants to get into this world might not know exactly what they want for their Jeep. You go to Rugged Ridge and you see packages. I like that one, that one, or that one. You pick one and then you just buy the parts for that package. Now you have the Jeep you want without going hitting forums and all that stuff, which isn't bad. You know, if you really want to dive in and get aggressive, you can say, oh, I need that front bumper, this rear bumper, that winch, these wheels. But if you're more of a weekend warrior Jeep type person, even if you are hardcore, because this Jeep can do a lot, 
but even if, but for the weekend warrior, you just want to pick a package, get your Jeep looking the way you want it, take it to the places you want to take it, and be done with it. That's where Rugged Ridge comes in. I think that's pretty cool. One thing you don't think about is how much Jeep owners customize their vehicles. Now, yeah, we know Mustang guys like doing pulleys and flows with Camaros, but we know, you know, Camaro people like doing stuff, Nissan Z people like doing stuff, BRZ and FRS people like modifying their cars. If you really think about it, who, which owner group of automotive enthusiasts out there modifies their vehicle the most, it's Jeep owners. It's a no-brainer. Even if it's wheels and tires, it could be a snorkel, it could be gearing. There's so many things that Jeep people do. If you find a stock Jeep, it's almost rare. Even the guy who just keeps his Jeep shiny clean on the road will throw some BFG, you know, uh, KO2s on it because it, I hate to say it's a Jeep thing, um, so I'm not going to. Because the Jeep infects you and you start to modify it and you make it your own. That's almost across the board for Jeep owners. They really seem to love to put their Jeeps together the way they want. So they can do fun shit like this. This is fun, even at slow speeds, you know? I couldn't take a Lamborghini Huracan out here, though it would be rad to lift one and do that. Man, if I had money, I would do some dumb shit. This one's a, a solid mesh grill. Um, solid mesh, I just made that up, I guess. Excuse me for a minute while I try not to back off a cliff here. On the, sh the SEMA show floor, I almost said SHEMA. Welcome to SHEMA, I'm your host, Sean Connery. Everybody's modifying submarines. My name is Ramius. One ping, Priscilla. Since this basically has marine and not navy stuff on the outside, I'm the marine version of Lieutenant LT Smash. If you get that reference, you're a good person. 